My name's Space, and imagine if you stumbled upon someone's base, and the only way to get inside was to solve this combination lock. Now, by some miracle, you somehow get the combination correct. And the door opens. You're like, great. I got all this gear, all this loot, I enchant stuff, steal everything, and just like that, I'm out. Now, for a different person's perspective, if you were to come back to your home, enter your lock, your door opens, you walk through, no way to shut this besides this pressure plate, which causes it to shut, you get all your stuff, go back out for an adventure, opens back up because of the pressure plate and then shuts within a few moments. And now, imagine a third perspective. We'll go to a shovel, just to make it different. So, you come, notice the space, only way to get through is the combination. You put in the wrong combination, the door doesn't open, so then you hit the reset button. Wait a few moments, you put in the correct combination, we are and you loot it and do the same as the first perspective this is my first redstone contraption on YouTube and I'm going to be explaining how it works behind every button there is a torch a redstone torch and that leads out to nine different outputs of different color because they are all color coded to their own area they all go through here they're explained they're like this so they don't interact with each other and they all go to two different things, or they're all semi-connected. This wire, or this line right here, is connected by the buttons, and this section that I'll talk to you about later. So when a pulse goes through, let's say this one, just for example, we'll get a lever, that is not a lever. Put a lever down. This is what happened when the button is pressed and stayed pressed. So the pulse will go through, but it's still on just so we can see. And then we have this thing, which takes it's a T, T, uh, T flip flop, I believe is the name. And it moves the item through it and senses it and puts an output into the comparator, like here. If we turn off the button, it will show it there act like it was a pulse, and then it turns on, because it noticed that the item went completely through. And when the pulse went through, it went to two different things. Number one, it went through to the combination, which you can customize, which I will explain later, but you have to customize it by coming here and actually changing it. And it also goes to this section, which now involves this, as I stated earlier. So how this works is, I'll get rid of some of this or sandstone. Oop, got rid of some redstone in accident. We'll replace that real quick. Is it sends a pulse through up to a sticky piston and pushes this block up. Now, the good thing about this pushing up is that if you need to reset the reset button, which is right there, will go through here, all the way through this wire, go through here, and the pulse will go through, going back into the wire, back to the T flip flop to turn it off. So that's how the reset button works. It When it's turned on, pulse goes through to the combination, and it also goes back here to allow it to be reset. Now this does look a little complex and I just, I didn't know how to correctly, I guess, organize it, but that could be a, a different idea for a different time. So how the combination lock works now is, it's actually fairly simple. So for all of the redstone to typically go through, you just have a line of redstone. And if they all went through and they're all on, meaning they're all on like that, they would power each torch. 
if you notice here, this one's on, this one's on, and that causes this torch to be on. Now, for instance, if this torch was up, if uh, orange was off, this torch would be on, and that torch would be off. But since they're both on, it causes that one to be on. And same concept over here. Except this is a three, and this is a two. And then it goes through, and three, two. And when all of the combination is correct, it will go through here, and it will stop right here. I just realized I should probably add that right there. Go through here, go down, and then it's inverted right here. Then this was a little bit tricky, and there's going to be something that I will show a video of, or a short clip of why this is like this. So we have a, I guess we have a source, a power source right here. And when this is turned on, here, we'll put in the correct combination really quick. Just reset it. So the correct combination is that one, that one, that one, and that one. And it should open, fantastic. So this will stay on, and as you can tell, all of these torches are out on top, and all of them on the sides are on, which is how the combination works. Pulse goes through here, and I'll explain what this is later, and it turns off this cobblestone, or this cobblestone, and it turns off this piston, so this pulse cannot get through here. and. All other pistons are retracted because they no longer have power. And this right here, okay, so now I <laughs> will explain what the heck this is in a section before I built this area. Basically, all you need to know right now is that when I hit this orange button, this power will turn off. This line of redstone will turn off. And all of these four pistons should retract. There's one under here and they'll make a two by two door, right? So I'll hit the orange button and take a look at what happens. This one does not retract. Now take a look. I have mined all around here. Search, nothing can possibly power this. Do it again. It'll turn on, It'll go through, turns on. They're all extended, as you heard. Hit the orange button, comes through, does not retract. Don't know why. Get rid of the redstone current, it retracts. Now, it's not just, I think it's just that one block, because take a look. Do it once more, hit it, let it go through, hit it again. So just quick pulse, comes out, and it retracts there. But why? does it not retract right here? Maybe is it because of that block? I don't even know. Hit it twice. Nope, it just does not want to retract. How are you being powered? That causes you to be powered? What? I don't understand like how that works one bit is it something to do with this redstone up here it has nothing to do with that redstone I don't understand why this piston works so that was pretty strange how that works I guess I, I don't really know what happened but just somehow this piston gets a pulse from only this block and that is it. So it's just a wee bit strange. The next thing is the pressure plates that are right there. And they're right here. So the pressure plate will go through down there, up around here, over to this section. And say when you are doing this part, you put the combination in, you get it correct, 
you go through for the first time, I'll open this up just for now, it turns on the reset right there and shuts everything down and it closes the wall. Now the way how it shut it down is the pulse went through, went all the way, finished the T flip flop, went back through, pushed the pistons down. And that reset the door to allow it to be that like that. And this one, th no pulse will go through, but it will instead go to, or not instead, but it will also go to this pulse extender, which will make it so you are able to walk back through without killing yourself because Without that, it would just open and shut really fast. Now what happens with that when the code is put in? And then this is hit is absolutely nothing. Here's how I can show this better. I'll get rid of this piece of redstone, get rid of that piece of redstone. Put the lock in. Go through. Shut it. Actually, no, it won't shut. I actually need to do it for the first time. I need to put it in. Let it shut. Take out the piece of redstone. Actually, no. Let me rephrase that. So, I get rid of this piece of redstone. I go over here. I put the combination in, go through, and as you can tell for the first time, when I walk over, nothing happens because it's not re connected to the reset and it just locks at this point. So when this is connected, it resets for only the first time, resets, and then whenever I want to leave in here, I can just leave because of this pulse extender, which lasts, let's say, about five seconds. Let's see. One, two, three, four, four, around four seconds. This is my first redstone contraption. I think it went out pretty well. It took a little while to make it, but I'm happy with what it ended up being. Peace.